Hey guys, I'm Shuaib, and uh, why do I still use the first generation AirPods in 2024? First off, let's look at the design. It's overall a very nice looking device, and also it feels great in the hand. It's very futuristic looking, a very small form factor, but one thing to note that it is very slippery, so definitely get a case. Personally though, I've never got a case and I have dropped it multiple times. Like I'm super surprised that these still work till these days. I have dropped like each of the AirPods, I've dropped the case itself, I've dropped the whole thing and they still work. So very sturdy and rugged, I guess for the most part, you know, there is some wear and tear like you can see, but it does the job and it still works. Another thing to note that is that they get fairly dirty quickly. Not sure if that's just a me problem, but if I want to keep these for longer, I should probably get a cleaning tool because look at this. I don't even know where these black spots come from, but it's pretty easy to easy to clean. Like I usually just take like a microfiber or like a paper towel and the rubbing alcohol and I can just clean it from time to time. Moving on, one of the main things for headphones is, uh, you know, the sound quality. Like, do these actually sound good? Are they decent? Are they usable? When I first got them, I was pretty impressed with the sound. You know, it did the job. It had fairly good bass and fairly loud. So just jamming to my Bollywood playlists, I can do that anytime and they worked great. So when I first got them they were high quality like definitely better than what they are now after many accidental drops and also just wear and tear they aren't the best right now sometimes only one year works and i'm not sure why at times it is due to a dead battery so i'll put it back in the case for like five to ten minutes and i'll get like an hour of use other times it will have charge, but only one year will work. Not sure if it's a connection problem or due to accidental drops from time to time that perhaps the electronics inside got moved. But I have noticed when I put them back in the pod for like a few seconds and take them back out, it will connect again and both the years work. At the current state, so after like three years of use, the volume is relatively low compared to like a wired lightning earbuds. And also just compared to when I first got them, but they're still fairly decent, you know, with the with the increasing the volume, it is I can still hear it at a decent clarity. But overall, the sound quality over the three years has got worse. And at this point, it's OK. Like I can still use them and I do still use them. But would I prefer a better alternative to these at the moment? Probably yes. So are these good for like the long term? Like what's the longevity of, you know, in the long run, are these worth it? I have friends who have had multiple AirPods in the year. Either they lost it or it broke. So I'm surprised like I still have mine. It has gone through a lot, but I still have them and they still work fairly well. Since it's a very small and slippery, it is easy to lose them. Or if you accidentally drop them in like a narrow gap somewhere, there goes your AirPods. Therefore, like having a case and connected to like your keys or something or like maybe your pockets or your pants so you can have them for longer. As for me, I just make sure I put them back in my pocket whenever possible. Personally, I'm not a big fan of cases, but they are helpful when it comes to keeping the AirPods safe and secure for the long run. So as long as you take care of them, you kind of get a case and kind of have a whereabouts of where they go throughout your day. It should, they should be good for the long run. As long as you have them, they will do the job. And personally, for the past three years, they have been fine for me. I have not lost them or anything like that. So for the long run, they are fairly good as long as you still have them. When it comes to connectivity, it works great with all other Apple products like iPad, iPhone, MacBooks. It connects a lot faster with Apple products in particular due to its built-in chip, which just talks to Apple products better. So the ecosystem is very strong. So if you're getting these AirPods for another Apple product, perfect, no problem. However, the AirPods do also work on Android and Windows computers. And it's usually the connection process is usually like, like a normal connection process to connecting to a Bluetooth on any other device in general. So you just, you know, if the first time around, it takes some time, you go through the setting up the device itself. But every subsequent time after that, it's a fairly faster connection. Like I have these AirPods connected to my S24 Ultra and, you know, they connect right away as soon as I put the AirPods in my ears and I can start playing my music on my Android phone and go about my day. So they do work with Android phone and Windows laptop, but the setup process is not as fast as they are on Apple products. And that's just Apple's, you know, ecosystem thing. Although they do work, they don't have all the features that you would get with an Apple product, such as, you know, like pause and play don't necessarily work when you take the AirPods out of your ears. Like it doesn't automatically sense the fact that you took it out of your ears. 
It doesn't just pause when you're using it on an Android or a Windows computer, but you can still use the gestures of like skipping the song or pausing the song by double tapping while you have the headphones still in your ears. In addition, for some other devices, you don't necessarily get to see the battery percentage. For example, I have an Android anchor projector and on my Android phone, I don't necessarily get to see the battery percentage. I just notice them once, you know, they do die, then I just charge them again. They have third party applications that you can download in order to monitor your battery percentage, but that's kind of like a hassle, you know, it's not built in. Overall, the AirPods in terms of connectivity are much better with Apple products, but they still do work on other non-Apple products. So Windows, Android, but you just don't get all the software features that are available on an Apple product. So ideally these are best in terms of connectivity and monitoring and software updates and whatnot for Apple products, but they still do the job for all other devices that have Bluetooth connectivity. So how's the battery life on these? In my experience, I've used them for multiple days with the case. Like personally, I don't use them all day, but with the case, you can get up to like 24 hours listening and 15 hours talk time which at times would last me like a week because like I'll use it for like few hours here and there per day and then you know put it back in the case and it's good for another round of use the next day or you know so on. So overall I've been satisfied with the case like but in the case like if I were to use them all day obviously they wouldn't last the whole day without the case. Without the case at most they would probably last a few hours at most like five hours but with the case I can definitely get up to 24 hours of you know listening to music and whatnot and it does a fairly good job. Overall the battery life is is good. All in all, would I recommend the first generation AirPods in 2024? It really depends on your need and your budget. So these are perhaps the cheapest AirPods in the market right now. Although Apple isn't selling them on their website, they're still available on Amazon, eBay, Best Buy. So therefore, there's still a good deal for AirPods that work with the latest tech gadgets like smartphones, computer. And if you're looking for something that just works and you don't necessarily care about the sound quality too much, these are good. I would highly recommend them for that case. Like you just need AirPods that just work these are your go-to they are by far the best airpods when it comes to that but on the other hand if you do care about the sound quality these are not the best for today's standards airpods following the first generations have been great and the current ones apple is selling on their websites are so much better because they have noise canceling their surround sound transparent mode and various other features that come with them so you are better off with many of the latest airpods option but the latest ones are a lot more expensive. So in short, so I would still recommend the first generation AirPods if you just want something that just works and you don't really care about the quality and whatnot. So the first generation ones are good and they're super cheap, so go for it. Well, that is it for today. If you liked the review, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell icon. As always, have a superb day and thanks for watching.